mum's house that's done this. Crap. Oh crap. <laughs> morning it is monday morning and we are currently or i am currently well baby's in the back sat outside a car garage because i don't know if i mentioned in my last vlog that i reversed into a telephone pole we have the car that i drive and then the car that tommy drives and i the other day had gone to see my dad and i'd pulled up too far down the road so i was reversing back don't know what I did, why I did it, but I just reversed into a telephone pole. So um, I've like really, not well it's not too bad, but like the lights at the back of the car are just not, the smashed. And then um, there's like a, one of the back compartments, I'm just looking at it now, that's kind of like shifted a little bit. I haven't been well, last week I didn't vlog because I just wasn't feeling very well. And I did like go out and get up to bits and pieces, but I just was feeling so under the weather and I just thought, I it would just been a bit of a miserable vlog really so you might be able to tell i'm still a little bit bunged up but i'm not feeling anywhere near as bad as i was tommy i think has got it now which is a bit rubbish and um, but luckily so far baby hasn't got it so the plan today is i'm obviously up dressed makeup done if we get a chance to go home um now before our next thing we're going for lunch with some of his family like his sisters and his grandma and stuff at 12 it's half 10 now if we get to go home then i'm hoping to film a video and then we're going for lunch and then that's it really for the rest of the day we've just left the house in an absolute bomb site um so we're gonna have to give that a bit of attention um and just kind of chill i think um i've got a tesco order coming later on because i am as of tomorrow eating a lot better i've cut out the rich tea biscuits i've gone cold turkey and um, this morning rupert got up at half past five so i'm feeling it now and all i really wanted before we left was a rich tea biscuit but i've got none in the house so i'm not buying any more um i am hoping that we might be able to grab a coffee on the way home and i did bring my lotus biscuits with me because I do you like having one with a coffee? I just followed Tommy up here um, in the Mini Crunchman, which I've driven like once before. It's the one we got a couple of weekends ago and I'm just so not confident with it because it's a manual and I've driven manuals all my life. And now I drive the Kia that's like automatic. I just, I, all I was driving here and I was like, there's a clutch, there's a clutch, remember the clutch, there's a clutch, there's a clutch. Um, but I always find that with like new cars that are manuals, it takes you a while to find the bikes because they're all so different. And uh, <laughs> I'm not driving. I climbed over because I don't want to drive in. I need to let him in. There's a lot. Okay, we're going now. an onion sandwich which wasn't it was like used to be my favorite thing to get from there but I just really wasn't feeling it today I'm now eating biscuits and drinking a coffee I filmed a weaning haul little sneak peek there it probably won't be up by the time you watch this um and I'm just about to film a Q&A because I asked you all on Instagram um, if you'd prefer a Q&A video or I've seen a lot of people do those assumptions video like where you people tell you what they assume about you and then you answer them but I'm a bit scared to do that really because I don't think I really want to know what people assume about me um so a lot of you preferred the Q&A anyway so you've all sent over some questions or some of you have sent over some questions so I'm going to sit and answer them now and just have a little bit of chat with the camera and um, that 5 30 a.m wake up has certainly kicked in we just had a very exciting delivery we went for the Nemo Jumperoo um, or Nemo Jumper, I guess it's called, um, because a lot of you recommended it, basically. It's the Bright Starts one. Um, it was between this and the Baby Einstein one from John Lewis, but this one just looks like it's got so much more going on for him. I seem to have lost my baby, and I've been exchanged for a raccoon. I don't want a raccoon, I want my baby. Oh, there he is, I see him, I see him. I only recognise him when he's smiling because he's such a smiley baby. Yeah. Yes, I know. I waffle on. This pram suit is from Matalam. And um, he's in between sizes, shall we say. Look how long this one is. 
he's too small for six to nine this is nine to twelve it's the width that we need not necessarily the length oh dear oh dear he's at the stick in his tongue that stage it's quite cute really yeah. <laughs> so a lot has happened since I last spoke to you. It's ten to six. Um, I tried to like know what time it was then without having to look at the clock. Um, we've had a man come round to have a look at like the outside of the house, like the windows and um, you know, like the fascias and stuff that like makes a massive difference, but you don't necessarily always think needs actually doing. Um, we've had a Tesco order arrive which I'm about to film for a video. I'm going to do like a grocery haul video and um, see if any of you like it. And the jumper has arrived, I think I said that before, but it's missing the main part. I honestly could cry. We can't, it didn't come in the box, I took everything out. Um, he's just had a little sit in it. But there's an, um, a Nemo bit that's meant to go here that's like one of the main control panels and we don't have a Nemo and I can't believe it. <laughs> it's like the main bit is missing. Um, we've looked through all the packaging and the box and everything and can't find it anywhere. So I'm a little bit disheartened because Tommy just thinks it's fine because I'll send another one and we can just take the part out of the new one. But it's Amazon, they're going to make us send that back. And then there's another one which is fine but it's just such a massive inconvenience really um the box is so big i've got to take it all apart <sighs> anyway i'm gonna go and get everything out on the side to film this tesco haul and make his bottle he's gone up for a bath okay i filmed the grocery haul i'm feeling pretty pooped about the fact we've got no bloody nemo in the finding nemo jumper -o. <laughs> like it would have to happen to us wouldn't it really it's just my look i've searched everywhere and one definitely hasn't come um anyway i'm gonna put all this shopping away now um i've taken my bra off so i'm feeling all free um and then he's just gonna have his milk and um i like i don't know i kind of hate monday nights because i feel like monday nights for us are like sunday nights for a lot of people because Sunday nights for us are nice because I know Tommy's off on Mondays and he finishes work at like four on a Sunday as well. Monday nights, it's like back to school, back to work kind of thing. Um, and then, and it's like a really long week as well. It's just a long week really. And I feel bad for him because we've now moved like Rupert's schedule like forward. So he used to get home in time to do his bath and his milk and stuff. And now it's kind of, he normally gets home at half six and that's the time I'm taking him up for bed. Um, so it's just a long week really. Obviously, like I wouldn't change it, but it, you do feel it. Um, anyway, I've had a quite a productive day today. I filmed the weaning haul that I wanted to film and then I filmed, I think, oh, my microwave, no. I filmed the weaning haul that I wanted to film and then I filmed, um, a Q and A because I asked on Instagram for you all to send me questions and halfway through I had to answer the door because the jumper arrived and I forgot to switch the micro the microphone back on so um, I'm gonna have to refilm that again. I might do it tomorrow when um, the questions have had like 24 hours. You know on Instagram that the thing can be on for 24 hours so I'll do it again. I just need to save the questions. Um, but yes, I think we're just gonna watch some Netflix tonight and I'm gonna have last night's Chinese takeaway for tea because tomorrow I wanna start eating. Like all of this stuff that's just arrived is like healthy food. 
Um, so I want to start eating a lot better. I'm not going on a diet, but I want to start just cutting out the biscuits and the chocolate because it's making me feel rubbish and everyone keeps saying to me, you've just had a baby, but I know I've just had a baby, so I'm not going to, I'm still going to allow myself if I'm having a bad day, like a coffee or a bar of chocolate or whatever, but where I can, I'm trying to cut out the bad stuff. So, um, most of all, it's the rich tea biscuits and um, I could quite have easily gone through a packet of those today. Um, and the Coke cans. Um, I would only have one can of Coke a day, but it's just not good for me. I know it's not and I feel rubbish after I've drunk it. So um, anyway, I will see you all. I don't know when I'll next vlog. I don't know what I've got planned for the rest of the week, but I'll see you all, I don't know, in the next, I always do this. I'm like, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you in the next clip, but I will I'll be sure of it. I will. Otherwise it'd be a daily vlog, not a weekly vlog. <laughs> going mad i need some sleep or a coffee or something good morning it is thursday today and it's about eight o'clock half past eight and my big baby is in his jumper we contacted amazon and they sent another one that we had to take the part out of so it's probably going to happen to somebody else take the part out of and send it back as missing a part so He's got all the parts he needs. So he's still quite young, so it's gonna, as he gets older, he'll be able to interact with more stuff, but he's getting there. He seems to really like this orange seahorse. And then he responds when I do that. And then that one lights up and makes music as well. Um, but it's really handy because I've just stood and curled my hair at the other end of the dining room. While well, he's been in this, he's been able to see me um, and speak to me, but obviously he's quite happy in this, so. Um, a lot of you messaged on Instagram to say that my life was going to change forever once we got a jumpery. So far, obviously, he's not been in it a lot, but I absolutely love it and would recommend it. So um, that's that. I, well, we are going to one of my friends today. She was in, her and her kids were in a vlog um, a few weeks ago when we were at the gym, actually. Um, thinks no. Always trying to play, to sleep on his play gym. Um... And I've just washed it, so that ain't happening today. Um, but yeah, they were in a vlog a few weeks ago, and obviously it's half term, so they're all off school. Um, so we're going to go around to her house this morning and just go and catch up, basically. So, well, this afternoon. So while he's awake, because I might take him out in the car so he sleeps in the car. Um, so while he's awake, I need to do my makeup, and I'm not going to get dressed right at the last minute because this T-shirt can be sicked up on. What I'm wearing today, I'd rather he didn't because I've thought about an outfit and I don't really want to change it. Um, I've just thought actually I'm wearing a pleated skirt and I think I need to shave my legs. Oh. <laughs> I've already had a shower. I've completely forgot. <laughs> the last few days, you've scratched yourself again, Bubba. I cut his nails all the time, file them. Just does not help. He just seems to scratch himself. Um, to be honest, he's not done it that much recently. It used to be ridiculous, but um, you just want to see yourself, don't you? There you are. Um, the last couple of days, we've not had a car because obviously I reversed into a telephone pole. I think I mentioned it um, once or twice. Um, that got fixed, so we went to pick that up last night. So I've got the car back. So we're heading out this morning, as I've said, and I just we've. The first day that we didn't have it, um, well, Tommy was here, so it was fine. The second day, we went out for a really long walk with the pram. Um, it was a nice day, and I just managed to get out of the house. Yesterday was really horrible, rainy and drizzly, and this one has been so grizzly. I think he's teething. Um, he's just always, always constantly wanting to chew stuff. He's got rosy red cheeks. He's just very temperamental. Um, and You just want to look at yourself. Do you just want to look at yourself? It's just been a bit fussy and that the middle of the day nap that he usually has is a really long one. Um, he just hasn't been interested at all in taking um, so it's made it a bit more difficult because like worst comes to worst I'd either put him in the pram but yesterday obviously it was pouring down or we'd go out in the car so um, but we didn't have either of those options so we had a screaming child and then I think he exhausted himself so much that then he just literally flat out in the most random position on me just zonked out so um, it was a battle yesterday wasn't it chicken hey I suppose I take it for granted when he goes down really easily I haven't vlogged the last couple of days because they have been a bit more difficult I've just not felt right um, and then last night when, before we were going to bed I came on so that kind of explains it really um, I'm always in an awful mood the week before 
um or like a few days before so um that was that i cried about chicken last night didn't i you did yep true story anyone else whether you've got a baby or not always leave the house if you know like no one's coming around and my mom was coming around later um uh, probably around the time I arrive back so I'm actually not gonna be able to do anything about this state of the house. I feel quite positive today. I've had, I don't know if I've mentioned this before but the last few days, I've been a bit teary, cried about chicken last night um, and I came on last night so um, it was all explained, the dog's crying now at the back, um, one out of three, it's the one that always cries when he's outside for too long even though he refuses to come in. Um, so yeah, it's like you have those kind of like stages where you um, you don't understand why you're crying and you know that you're possibly coming on but you just like don't even think that it's that that's the thing. And then when you do come on, you just sit there and you're like, oh, now it all makes sense. I'm not going mad. I was a bit worried about myself, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this week has been tough. And I was just so, like, I was thinking to myself, like, oh my goodness, I'm not cut out for this. How am I going to parent? Like, we want more than one child. How am I going to be capable of that? Then I came on my period. All is well in the world. All is right. It's an excuse for everything. I wanted to give up rich tea biscuits this week. Asked Tom to get some from the shop. Wanted to give up chocolate. Got loads of fruit delivered um, in that Tesco order. And then just want chocolate and biscuits now and now I know why. Give us a wave. Hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't keep up. Trying to be a big boy, are you? Are you? <laughs> Do you feel better now after sleep? Yeah, I am. My toes are in it. <laughs> hey, she has some milk now. <gasps> yeah, you're hungry. He says I'm always hungry, mummy. Look at my cheeks. <laughs> Aren't you? We're home now. Covered. Auntie Lottie's here. And he's having a bath a little bit earlier because he's been a bit of a cross patch and a bath always distracts him um, and makes him happy. So <laughs> we just tried to give him some banana and he just was not happy about it. Okay. Will you? <gasps> oh, whoosh. <laughs> there you go. Good morning, it is Friday today and I'm actually in a really good mood. Um, you know, I think, I don't think I'm always in like a really bad mood, but you know, just when you think to yourself, oh, I actually feel really good today. Um, didn't have the easiest of nights with him. He's definitely going through the four month sleep regression or progression, depending on how you look at it. Um, he's hit that stage where his sleeping pattern is just completely changing and all of his sleep cycles are changing and he's they're going through like apparently four months it's a massive developmental leap and i have to say i am on like i am i do really believe in that um it's a way that i can also justify his behavior and um, he's just changing a little bit he's obviously growing up so i gave him a bottle at half five because i just thought i'm going to test this if if i don't get a lot of people had said don't feed him in that at that time of the morning some people had said feed him um, he might just want it for comfort. And the night before, we gave him a couple of ounces at three when he wouldn't go back to sleep. This morning, he had like the full bottle. Um, I'm just in um, like his bathroom, in Rupert's bathroom. I don't even think I've ever shown you in here. It's kind of unfinished. Um, this shelving unit, I think I got from eBay. Um, 
and I love it but there's like stuff that needs to go in it, it looks like it's a bit empty doesn't it and then um, these are just little bits that I've had um, when we've been to St Ives and then um, this is what the windowsill looks like, the blind has actually got lighthouses on it but you're not going to be able to really see it I don't think and I can't actually reach the blind from here to manoeuvre it down and then I have this heart here on the wall and then a little lighthouse picture, this is a Sally Swannel and I absolutely love her art. Uh, I've got quite a bit of her stuff and then without actually showing you the toilet itself um, I've got these bits on top of the toilet as well. So this is actually from when I went to see my cousin um, and her mum. Her mum lives in Port Townsend in America and um, so she gave me that. She gave me like a big bag as we left. I vlogged it so I might have shown it then, I can't remember, it was ages ago. Um, so that's in here and then this is just something I've picked up along the way. Um, and then on the back of the door here, we have a little shell heart. Um, so yeah, a little impromptu bathroom tour. tour. We have this bath mat in here. Um, he's changing mat, sorry. And then in this, we have like nappies, nappy sacks, wipes, cotton wool, um, his like nappy cream. And then there's like a thing full of toys there, which a lot of them were left from when, like when Charlie's been, uh, when he was younger and has baths with us um, and then we've obviously added to the collection since we've had Rupert. I am actually this morning going around watering plants um, so I don't actually have that many left. I've got this one here on the hallway um, and they're not doing too great so I'm not very good with house plants. I don't know how much water they need, whether like I need, to, how often I need to feed them. Um, I know I'm rubbish at getting all the dead bits off as you can tell. Um, but Thomas is at home this morning um, he normally is on a Friday but we usually go out like to a cafe or somewhere for breakfast um, but today I was just like because he's obviously had a bit of a rocky night um, I just said you just go you just go downstairs and feed him and view them for a bit and I'll just get some things done that I don't often get a chance to do so um, one of them is watering these plants so I'm going to go for a quick shower and get dressed I'm gonna like spruce up in our bedroom as well because it's looking a little worse for wear in here um, and Thomas is actually sleeping in the other room at the moment and that is I mean what is it with boys seriously I mean I know he doesn't get a lot of time but if he brings a drink up with him to bed he doesn't just take it down in the morning and he only has himself to sort out in the mornings really he just gets up goes downstairs goes to work I have Rupert when I go down in the morning I have the a bottle that we've used and then an empty bottle which I'll have brought up in case I need one in the night. Um, two dummies because I always bring two up with me because I always lose one in the night. Um, his comforter, any tissues that I've had, like anything that I've had upstairs. My pockets are bulging full um, but Thomas just likes to leave them all piling up in his room. So um, I hate that I, have, that I call it his room. It's horrible that he's in there. It's just it's not it's not really been easy to get used to to be honest but um, it's been the best thing at the moment because he's such a loud sleeper and you don't realize how loud of a sleeper you are until you have a baby <laughs> um so yeah in here it's just looking a little bit crazy so um i could do with changing the sheets to be honest i don't actually think i can be bothered doing that um maybe i'll do that tomorrow he's off like for a full day tomorrow so this morning he's only he goes in at one so like all my clothes were all over the floor um there's just stuff everywhere so um yeah I'm going to tackle this room um, and then I'll hop in the shower um, very quickly. Whenever I do get a little bit of time, um, and I'm sure like a lot of you do this as well if you've got kids or had kids, I like to set it up for like the next stage. So like now, I've got his sleeping bag here um, and I'm going to make our bed like how I get into it at night. So I always fold over half of the duvet because I just crawl into it because he's often asleep or fallen asleep. Um, and then I'll lay this sleeping bag out on our bed because that's where we put him in at night. I'll get like a nappy set up and some wipes set up. has got this little one dress this morning we've had the most gorgeous morning they've just him um, and Tommy have just been like playing he's been giggling my camera had to go on charge so I didn't manage to get any of it on film Um I will obviously again but hey I think he's gearing up for a bottle and a sleep now aren't you hey he's had some porridge this morning mixed in with some banana and apricot puree which he loved didn't you 
Yes, you did, you loved it. So this is a super soft little bodysuit from H&M. Most of them are from there that he has. These leggings are from Zara um, and his socks were in the White Company sale. They were down to like four pounds for three pairs. Um, and they've got Tommy dressed him, so they're all, <laughs> they're not on properly. Um, but they've just got little blue stars on the side of his feet, so he just looks really cute and adorable. Oh, look at this. What has he done? Oh, dear. I am wearing today this New York jumper that I showed in my Matalan video um, and just my black pleated skirt. So I'm not really sure what we're going to get up to today, Rupert, and it's a bit blowy out there to go for a walk in a pleated skirt, as we know from my last experience when we were outside and when we were in a skirt. Hey. So we'll probably end up at Sainsbury's or something like that. It's just something to do, isn't it? Kill some time because Papa's out till t uh, about half past ten tonight. So it's a long night, isn't it? So we go get some fresh air or some supermarket air. I decided to come to Sainsbury's. He's just woken up. Um, he fell asleep in the car. But, um, I'm wearing this pleated skirt again and oh my goodness it is blowing like crazy um, and I don't have a free hand to block it out again. Now granted it's not the most exciting view of your life but there's Blackpool train station and there's some not so nice houses and um, you can't actually see the tower from here and um, it's behind me but there's a bit of Blackpool for you. Don't say I don't treat you to quality content. <laughs> Bigger than you. That looks happy now. Has the milk reached the stomach? Has it? Has it? He's a happy boy. Are you dancing? just got himself to sleep. I had to go in twice. The first time I just put the dummy in and put my hand on his chest and shushed him. And he wasn't crying, he was just like, oh, 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 oh. not going to sleep. Um, and then the second time, oh, second time I had to go in and give him a cuddle. And then I put him back down, but I think he's basically there. Um, I never like rush down to start making my tea when I've just got him to bed because I find that when I do that, he, you know, if he ever like wakes up and he's disturbed, it's like just when we put him down, just putting him in the laundry cupboard, as you do. Um, so I've learnt my lesson, so I just kind of get a few jobs done. That's the dogs you can hear eating in the background. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit of laundry first. Um, I made the rookie mistake of leaving my pyjamas up there. I think I mentioned before that I always try and like be super organised on a Friday morning. Because I know that I've got the long night um, with him that I like, like I've got my pyjamas out, I've left them upstairs um, and then I just, when I came to feed the dogs I remembered that I'd put their biscuits in their bowls this morning when Tom was here um, and then so all I needed to put in was the meat and it was just, I was just like, oh, I appreciated past Amy um, for a second. It just makes it a lot easier when I've got stuff um, like, you know, already set up but I've not got my pyjamas and and I took all of our 
clean washing up before and put it all away when Tommy was here. So I don't even have a pair down here that are clean. Um, I'm just putting a wash on now, but I don't think I've got any pajamas in dead. I can even put on in like two hours when they're dry. Um, I put my hair down because I thought it might make me look more, more presentable, but I just got a bit crazy now, don't I? Um, I actually had a really lovely day today. Um, we, I just, I wanted, while Tommy was here, I was like, I'm going to get dressed properly and put makeup on. I'm not just going to, like, go out in leggings. Partly, part of it was, and I know, like, you guys really don't care. I was like, I can't wear the same hoodie twice in a row in a vlog. So, um, I got dressed. Showed you all my outfit-ish. Realised this week I've only vlogged three days, which I feel like it's a bit of a cheat when it's called a weekly, a weekly diary. I'm just going to show you a few bits of tea. I've been meaning to show you. I had quite a lot of toys arrive for him in the post that I ordered, but they're all upstairs. I was going to show you this morning, but my camera ran out of battery. So instead, I'll just show you some bits and pieces um, at the end of this vlog and just have a little bit of a, a natter with you. Um, but yeah, we I went to Sainsbury's and then went to the gym to see Tom, which is lovely because everybody's so lovely there that he just gets so much attention uh, Rupert and Tommy um he gets so much attention and it's just really nice because it just I had my lunch my sister works there so she made me a like a tortilla pizza so it was on a wrap I had chicken and peppers on it tomato puree and cheese and it was so tasty and then I met my other sister there who lives in Manchester she's the one that works the ITV who got us those Britain's Got Talent tickets which I meant to explain to you all that I wanted to vlog that day when I went to Manchester but silly old me I thought she'd forgotten a camera then when I got back to the car actually it turns out I'd not forgotten it I just dropped it under the seat um so I didn't vlog any of it but we went to see Britain's Got Talent and I think I've spoken about this already it was amazing it was so good um so if you watch the Manchester one you might see my little old face in it. One of the things I wanted to show you was in the room I just walked out of. Um, I get a lot of questions from people that I know um, asking me what laundry stuff that we use. Um, so we use the Persil Non-Bio and then this smells incredible. It is the Comfort Honeysuckle and Sandalwood and literally when anyone comes down to our house, I'm not blowing my own trumpet here but it does smell pretty damn good. <laughs> um, when anyone comes around I always like to have like washing scattered around the house just because I think it smells gorgeous. Um, obviously when it's, for when it's drying I don't just have like our clothes hanging around everywhere because it smells nice and people always ask. One of my friends who has just had a baby, I posted her a load of uh, Rupert stuff she bought a load of his old clothes from me and I sent it down to her I met her on the makeup course and I did that she's lovely and um when I when she got it all she was like Amy what do you use to wash your clothes in um so it smells really do I just had to sort the dogs out because I made the mistake of moving my keys so Tinks obviously barks like a crazy woman because she thinks someone's come in the house um but I ordered this off eBay. I've wanted him to have one for ages and everyone that I saw was in like a shop that was in Australia or somewhere and they were like 20 quid and I was just like, no, that's ridiculous. Anyway, I found this one on eBay um, for like four pounds and they do them in all different colours. There was a white one, a black one, pink one I want to say. So cute. So I'm going to hang this up in his room on the wall I think as like just another little... Um, you know accessory for his room but i imagine that it's something that he'd like to play with and he's a bit older because there's like there is actually a hole that you can see through and um this doesn't click but i just i just think it's really nice and it was four pounds including delivery so that's one thing that i wanted to show you and then i'll go and grab everything that i got from sainsbury's so i have actually filmed a tesco grocery haul um because I, I don't know, I like watching them. And I asked on Instagram and a lot of you said that you would like to see one from me. So I don't know how good it is, but um, that's gonna be up soon. But separate to that, I'm gonna just show you what I got in Sainsbury today. It's literally the most random stuff ever. The first things first that I've pulled out is this flapjack from Tommy's Gym. Um, it's from the, we don't know whether to call it like a bar, a bistro, a cafe. Um, I don't know. It's called Fortitude Fuel. I came up with that name don't get any commission or anything from it but you know my creative genius um but yeah basically it's like a healthy flapjack so obviously they do a lot of healthy food but then they do stuff because people like bulking and they want to like just let me switch the dishwasher off a second 
because that's going to be really annoying in the background if not for you guys it will be for me um so it's like healthy oats um protein oats i think and then um like a grenade spread which is like nutella but healthy but then they do actually put a real piece of kinder bueno on the top so they do all different ones this is a kinder bueno one they do like lotus ones nutella ones real nice real nice tasty um i bought some 12 bites but i already opened them i've seen me in the car i just like put them in there next to me just you know to go from my like a to b um you need a little snack in the car i got some of these um fajita spices these are my favorite ones the latin american kitchen mix and match um and the mild ones i since pregnancy and having him well it's in fact it's after having him because during pregnancy i ate still ate curries and stuff i can't deal with spice it's so bad like i'm it the slightest bit of spice my mouth is on fire um i got him some dummies these are six months plus now obviously he's only like four and a half months at the moment we have about six on rotation i always lose i never know where two are so we basically have four one's in his bag i always have two upstairs with me at night and then one down here for during the day um but i wanted to get some more for like you know when he's a little bit bigger if we're still using them um which to be honest i think we will be because they really do help um us at this present moment in time um and i never see any nice ones in the older age they're all really i just don't like them these ones have elephant mints on and like beach balls and i just thought they were really sweet we use the man ones which i would really recommend are you gonna focus let's do the old my hand's not big enough there we go but it's a treat every time that doesn't it then tommy asked me to get him a loaf so i just got him a warburton's seeded batch and um, i got a couple of packs of chicken because as I, I don't know if I said this, but we really like, I've been having chicken wraps quite often for tea. So I have chicken breast. And then Tommy got some of these different spices um, from Morrison's, but they're the Schwar Schwarz ones. And I really like the smoky Cajun one. And then there's like a barbecue one. He's got a, a month of steak and things like that. Just pop some of that over the chicken, literally have a little bit of cheese with it and then stick it in one of these. And that's what I have for my tea and that's probably what I'm gonna have tonight. I just that's all I really wanted every night for my tea. It's quick, it's easy, I feel like it's good because I'm having some kind of protein. Um it's either been that or a banana sandwich, strangely enough. Um then I got a couple of big bottles of water for Tommy because he likes having them cold in the fridge. Um and then I got a couple of cartons of orange juice for me. I do want to get back into healthy eating. You didn't see those 12 bites, did you? Um and but I do really like a small glass of orange juice in the morning. I feel like it's just it just gets me going. It's like my coffee, um, but in the form of orange juice. And then I also got some of this Robinson's Fruit Creations with twice the fruit, and this is the peach and raspberry one. And I had this yesterday at my friend's house. I went out to see Karen and it was so nice. I love peach, I love raspberry, so it makes sense. Um, but it's really, really good. Um, tasted really nice. And then clothing-wise, I picked up this little cardigan for Rupert. This was £11. He doesn't really, all of his cardigans seem really, really big for him. Um, this is 9 to 12. I've been buying like size up for him and they're all massive. Um, I think this one, again, will still be a bit too big for now. They had it in the navy blue as well. But this is kind of like a greeny colour. I don't know if it's showing up. And then it's got the stripes in the hood and then the little bear ears. They're quite, it's quite similar to the Marks and Spencers ones, to be honest. But I really like the colour of that. I feel like they've got one in Marks and Spencers so that's, that's that colour at the moment. I'm waffling on. I'm tired. Um, and then I got myself a swimming costume. This was £16 and it's a size 12. And it looks like this. So it's kind of it says here it says here it's medium control to give a flattering toned silhouette and it's a tummy control swimsuit so it's got the white at the top and then the white going around at the stomach and i just think it will be really flattering now i got this in a 12 in the hope we are going to center parks in september um i think it's september it's around that time of year and I want to be in this swimming costume. Um, this jumper is a 12, this skirt is a 12, but they're a little tight. And a flowy pleated skirt is not quite the same as a swimsuit. So um, I kind of want to be in it without everything hanging out of it. Um, so that's my aim. We've got Charlie in the morning tomorrow. It's swimming. Should have quite, quite a nice few days coming up. Um, I'm gonna try and vlog more 
if I can. Um, but I did have a few horrible days this week where I really didn't want to pick up the camera. But anyway, I'm going to go. The dogs are just needing my attention. They just won't stop barking and fighting. So um, if it's not the baby that's crying, it's the dogs. Um, I will see you all next week. Thank you for watching.